Good afternoon, everybody. Jay Douglas here with you, bringing you another sports podcast today. Well, Canada will have to wait another year before they have a chance to hoist the Stanley Cup trophy. That's because both the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Edmonton Oilers have been eliminated in the Stanley Cup playoffs, eliminated by the Florida Panthers and the Vegas Golden Knights, respectively. The other games, the Dallas Stars in the Western Conference beat the Seattle Kraken in seven games, so Seattle Cinderella run is over. And for the other East game, it was the Carolina Hurricanes defeating the New Jersey Devils. So your conference finals are set. The Dallas Stars will take on the Vegas Golden Knights. That game, that series begins in Vegas, and then it's Florida against Carolina. That game beginning in Carolina. And the first games are on Thursday and Friday, respectively, of this week. The Dallas Stars and Carolina Hurricanes, the only two teams to win a Stanley Cup. The Hurricanes back in 2006, the Dallas Stars back in 1999. So right there, it probably would have been better for the game had the Seattle Kraken won. I have nothing against the Dallas Stars. Even though I did pick the Minnesota Wild, it doesn't bother me. The Dallas Stars are doing well. I, of course, picked the Vegas Golden Knights to make the Stanley Cup Finals, so I'm probably rooting for them. I would. I wanted Toronto to win, so I'm a little upset about that. I've never really liked the Florida Panthers. The Hurricanes winning, I'm glad that they're doing well. We talked about this on our NBA podcast. Either one of these four teams can win. I don't give a clear advantage to anybody. Something that surprised me in the second round probably was the fact that the Leafs got dominated. I expected the Leafs to win. I'm not surprised Florida did, even though I I was rooting for the Leafs. Florida winning that series is no surprise because of what they did to Boston. But the fact they dominated Toronto, and Toronto only winning one game at home, that is very surprising as their season comes to an end. I'm not surprised the Hurricanes beat the Devils. The Hurricanes really look like the best team in the East. I mean, they got to beat Florida to officially get that title, but they look very strong. And I knew the Vegas and Edmonton series could go either way. I am glad Vegas ended up winning because, I, like I said, I picked them to go to the Stanley Cup final. I was probably surprised at how competitive Seattle was, but it shouldn't be a surprise because they beat the defending Stanley Cup champs, so it shouldn't surprise me that they played to another game set. I think that the success of these teams, for Dallas, I think it's going to have to be the play of their core. Jason Robertson, Joe Pavelski, Rope Hintz, Tyler Sagan, those guys, I think they're going to have to play well. For Vegas, I think it's going to have to be their goaltending, whether it's Aiden Hill, whether it's Fran Sos, whether they get Logan Thompson back. I think that goaltending spot is going to be something to that's going to play a big role in that series. And I think goaltending is going to be the story between Florida and, and Carolina. Sergei Bobrovsky is playing out of his mind in Florida. Carolina has a great goalie in Freddie Anderson. And honestly, those two teams could be more evenly matched than Vegas and Dallas. I think Vegas maybe has a slight edge. It's not a big discrepancy, but maybe a small one. You think about the impact players from Florida, they have a lot of talent up front. You know, you think about Matthew Kachuk, you think about Sam Bennett, you think about uh, Reinhardt, uh, Verhage on the back end, you think about Radko Gudis, and then for Carolina, some of the guys that jump off the table, Tavo Teravine, I think, is playing right now. He may be hurt. It's him or somebody else that's hurt. He might be hurt. It might be uh, Koka Niemi is the guy I'm thinking of. I know they have Sebastian Ajo. I know that they have uh, Brady Shea and uh, Brett Burns, who's kind of that hybrid defenseman. Tara Bynum may actually be hurt, so take him out of that equation. I think it's Koka Niemi I'm thinking of. If I had to pick the game right now, I think I would stick with Vegas making the Stanley Cup final, but I'd probably roll with Florida. I'm going to root for Carolina, but I probably think the Florida Panthers get it done and continue their Cinderella run to the Stanley Cup. And that would actually be a pretty good matchup. Vegas against Florida, two teams that have never won a Stanley Cup, were all for parity. I think that would do wonders for the league. Although Dallas and Carolina, neither one has won a cup in a very long time. They each have one of their name coming back in 2006 and 1999, respectively. Either matchup could be good for the league, but I think I would default to Florida against Vegas. Not only 
my official prediction, but I think that would be better for the league. Now, me personally, I would want to see Vegas against Carolina. And in that scenario, I think Carolina does end up winning. And, you know, I would want to maybe stick with Vegas beating Florida, but if Florida makes the Stanley Cup final, I think that, that they probably win. I think the East, the Eastern Conference is probably going to win the Stanley Cup. No matter who the representative is, I really think that the best team in this postseason left is from the East. I think Carolina is the best team, but if Florida makes the Stanley Cup final, I certainly roll with them because of everything they've had to endure this postseason. Not picked against Boston, given very little chance against Toronto. I don't think they've been given a lot of respect against Carolina. You got to think if they overcome all those odds, I think they would. That would be enough for them to win. I really don't see a scenario in which Dallas or Vegas actually wins the Stanley Cup. I really don't. I think the East is gonna hoist that trophy. Let me know what you think. Let me know who you think is gonna win the Stanley Cup. Let me know who you think is going to be the matchup inside the Stanley Cup. And I'd be interested to know what the discrepancy is between. Eastern Conference and Western Conference champions. Now, we had back-to-back -back East champions in the Lightning and the, in the Lightning, excuse me, and in the Avalanche from the West. We go back to 2019, and that was the St. Louis Blues. So, the last four Stanley Cup champions, it's been two from the West and two from the East, and the two from the East came from the same team. It's two and two in that regard. And then dating back to just going back to, I guess, the 2010s. So three wins for the West because of Chicago. Three wins for the East because of the Bruins. And then the West wins four in a row. So that's a 7-3 to three discrepancy. Then the East wins the next three. So going back to 2010, it's a 7-6 advantage for the Western Conference. I don't really know if that means it'd be better if the East won or not. I don't really think that matters. But just to show you kind of the, the balance, so to speak, that we've seen over the last 13, 14 seasons. So give this podcast a listen. Let me know what you think about the playoffs thus far. What stood out to you the most in the conference uh, quarterfinals or semifinals, I should say. And now we're in the conference finals. Uh, let me know what who you think is going to win. Each conference matchup, I think both of them could go seven games. Like I said in my NBA podcast, I think both these could go seven games and could go either way. I give it a toss-up either way. If your Stanley Cup playoff uh, team is still alive from when the bracket first started, my, un mine, unfortunately, is done. I picked the Boston Bruins to win it all, and, of course, they were bounced in the first round. So let me know if your Stanley Cup champion pick is still alive. And we will be back when we know who's going to play in the Stanley Cup final. We'll give our analysis of the conference finals and preview who we think is going to actually hoist the Stanley Cup and etch their name in history. So join us for that.